One of my favourite activities in electronics is taking stuff apart. It's relaxing and even therapeutic. There are times when you're just home from a long day at work when you can't be bothered working on projects on your to-do list. Pulling stuff apart can free up space in your cupboard and by going through stuff you'll find things that you didn't realise you had and you might get some ideas for projects if you find a particularly attractive case or nice tuning capacitor for instance. So there's a lot of good reasons for pulling stuff apart. A lot of people take stuff apart on their workbench. The problem with that is things can drop and not be seen again. I personally prefer somewhere where things can drop no lower, i.e. the floor. As for equipment, a baking tray is useful especially if you're pulling apart small items. A variety of screwdrivers as well, both flat and Phillips. Phillips is often used inside consumer equipment and flat headed screwdrivers, well their main usefulness is pulling apart recalcitrant bits of plastic. You also want some pliers to remove nuts and a wire cutter either separate or inbuilt in the pliers. That's pretty much all you need except for some brute force sometimes. As for the stuff we've got here, this is a clock radio and iPod deck. I've already ripped out the guts from this. A CCTV monitor, we'll take that apart later on. The remains of a clock radio, uh, this is the cabinet and part of the insides. We'll talk about that again later on. And a stereo, a CD player, radio, cassette, recorder. I've just unscrewed the outer cabinet but haven't got to the innards yet. The first thing you've got to do is work out how you get the case open because the drop method is only slightly worse than the hammer method in the destruction it can cause. Some of the older or better made things are held together with screws. In some cases they are concealed. They may be behind a label or under a battery cover. Go around looking from the back side of the box and try and find all the screws you can and undo them to get the case open. Some newer stuff may not have any screws. Instead, you may need to find a seam around the side and gradually ease with a screwdriver. There are sometimes knobs or buttons that you need to pull out first, otherwise you may not be able to get the thing open. As you can see, most of what's in the case is air and by getting rid of the case, you can greatly reduce the amount of space that your junk is taking up. Sometimes the most useful things aren't electronic at all. A resistor is only worth five cents, whereas knobs like this might be one or two dollars. So it's definitely worth keeping knobs and other mechanical items. And although this looks like a useless pile of plastic from a dead clock radio, the plastic see-through panel may be useful for projects, so could be worth keeping. When you pull stuff apart, it pays to be aware of various sub-assemblies and modules. The sum may be more useful than the parts. For instance, this is a radio tuner assembly out of the clock radio shown before. It has a dial, a tuning capacitor and mechanical reduction. Those sorts of things new, if you can buy them, are rather expensive. And with all this done, it would save a lot of work if you're using this as your own project. You might actually strip all the other circuitry and keep the tuning capacitor in situ and use it as the basis of a transmitter, transceiver or receiver. Although it's only a plastic tuning capacitor, that would be more than good enough for something like a VXO or ceramic resonator oscillator. The BitX video that I produced some time ago actually used an old radio as the basis for its tuning system. Also, a whole radio like this, although it won't be all that good, could be an IF strip in its AM mode. Having a look in this ghetto blaster, two speakers probably worth about two or three dollars each. They're held in by brackets. I would definitely save those. Little bits of metal are quite expensive if you happen to have to buy them. Same with the screws and nuts and bolts. Hardware is more expensive than electronics these days. There is a power transformer in there and quite a beefy ferrite. This is the radio circuitry section. The manufacturers are too cheap to put in a dial cord, but there's a good big knob on the tuning capacitor. You can't buy that new, so definitely salvage that. 
along with the tuning capacitor and the ferrite rod. Though be careful, things like electrolytics can deteriorate with age. Resistors though are normally pretty stable. All the components I keep on their circuit boards, but for the loose things like screws, nuts and bolts, I put them in a little case like this. You can buy it from supermarkets. First thing I do, once you've got the thing open, is to remove each of the boards. Try and find the screws around the board. Sometimes it can be hard. They might be concealed under a bent component or something like that, but try not to apply brute force if you can. Looking at the board I've just pulled apart, uh, quite a lot of disc ceramic capacitors, useful values as well, 100 picofarad, 10 picofarad, 0.1 microfarad, and also some green caps, um, also 0.1 microfarad. You can never have too many 0.1 microfarad capacitors. No matter what, I always run out of them, so it's good to have some in reserve that I'll keep on this board. Uh, they're used in decoupling circuitry a lot. Mechanical stuff, I should probably keep it, but no, I'm not going to. I'll check it. Power transformer, yeah, not sure. But there's a nice ferrite here. The speakers here, I've removed the metal brackets that hold them in, but they're also glued in, so they're going to need a bit more persuasion to get out. doesn't take too long to pull stuff apart. You don't have to think too hard, so it's ideal if you're a little bit tired at the end of a day. What do you do once you've pulled all the boards out? Personally, I put them in cardboard boxes. I generally leave the components on the board, only taking them out when I actually need them for a project. My experience is that that's safer and less time consuming than pulling apart every item. I'm honest it can wait another day. Anyway, in the meantime, I'll clean up. That's been rewarding, a bag of junk off to the bin. And more stuff in our parts drawers.